Hello, welcome back to Bame Farm. Finally, we're getting somewhere on planting beans. Here's our bean planter, we got it behind the 1086. And I've got our Tino level, and what I think is a somewhat level spot here in the driveway. And we need to make the top link longer. Hopefully you guys can see that bubble. Yeah, we're leaning a little forward. Um, since the only depth wheels on these planter units are at the very back, we're trying to plant seed too deep. We are planting 10 rows, 18 inches apart, and we also leave tram lines when we spray. Makes it pretty nice for harvesting too. He's going up with six, about six out there, and four in the middle. And then six, so a three, four, three, and we can harvest four and six. And you have the nice wide break for your tire tracks. Yeah, you'll have one down the middle. Uh, but beans, it's like especially when you spray, beans can recover. They don't recover as well as they do just starting out. And with that space, they'll fill that gap in. Now, if you wait till you, if you plant them solid and then leave a tire track when you spray and run them down. They don't recover as quickly. I mean, that's they have to heal essentially. Where this, they're starting out with the problem and they're fixing it from the get-go. Now, if we look out here, that one turn made us better, but we'll still lean them back. We'll take it another turn. I'm afraid one full turn would be too much. And we can do a half turn. Huh? Never tried that before. Nah, I still could go more. Geez, this is really getting. We had to lean forward a lot. Now, I don't know how many of you are going to pay attention, but yes, I'm still wearing the same clothes as yesterday in the dual video. I fell asleep like this last night on the couch, trying to get things planted before tropical storm. Like, what do they call that? Cindy? They call her Cindy? Yeah, Cindy. It's like, this is June, guys. Come on. End of July, I'd give it to you. August, yeah, September. We'd probably need the rain in one of those times, but not right now. See, Brad's doing planter prep. There's, I'll show you the three grease fittings when we get there. Ooh. And forward a lot over here. Might be able to go another half turn. Can't believe how easy I find that groove. See so, yep, this year, as usual, we're going off a corn plant non-GMO beans. Uh, it will be Claremont variety. And that's we have a <laughs> funny thing is one of the soil types around here is Claremont and it's nasty. It's wet. It's what they call crawdad ground, and you can make bricks out of it just about. You can almost take it that extra half turn. It'd still be okay. Sorry, I need both hands for this deal. <clears throat> See, another fun fact, we have to shorten a draw bar because it usually sticks out too long and will catch the front of this little hair they put on the front. Now, an even crazier fact, our 800 corn planter came from the same farm this did, just 10 years apart. And that farmer, he went back to planting beans on 30 inch rows. So they did just as well as doing this. You know, beans might do okay on 38s, but I don't like that much gap. We need to have a little bit of competition from the beans. That looks pretty good. I think we might be leaning a little back, but we fall between our lines. Okay, we hooked the markers up. It's a pain in the butt turning the top like with the markers hooked up. Pull a box off for you. You see, we've got one, two, three grease fittings. The chains in here. I haven't looked at those in years, but they're fully covered up, so we're just gonna go with they're doing okay right now. I think. Hmm. This one's missing something down there. Yep, there's a chain there. That's a little bike chain. Holy cow. The only things these have are bike chains. I feel like we should oil that, but we're also at a time crunch. We'll see. So, 
quick bit of planner prep. We'll catch back up with you guys out in the field. Hey guys, so I've been planting a while. Uh, it started out rather rough because uh, we've been working back here a couple of days and our back field rota spiking. Now, Brad was disking and I was rota spiking behind him. And right now it's great because I'm probably. Uh, okay, somebody watch the marker while I turn the speed gauge. I don't know. Okay, it feels fast. It may say I'm only going about four miles an hour planting. That feels rather speedy to me, especially planting beans. Yeah, you can kind of hopefully see. Oh, geez. This is going to be a bad video. I can tell because it's windy. Uh, the wet spot's over there. Yeah, I uh, was in sixth gear. Low TA, low idle, and I got to the wet spot, just jack everything up. Open the TA, wide open throttle, kind of lift the planter out of the ground. In this pre, well, in the, this rota spike the ground it's not quite getting the seed as deep as I'd like it but as deep as I'd like it I'm still seeing a few too many at the surface but uh, with Cindy coming it's supposed to rain too much really wish it wasn't raining I could go uh, another week without rain and uh, be perfectly happy as a clam now I know some of you guys out in Iowa yep had to clean the mud out of the rota spike that's how wet it was when we did that some of you guys in Iowa I've heard about having lots of fun with moisture or lack thereof. Yeah, I guess I could have done that more efficiently and do three point before marker. Yeah, fun day. Everybody look at me in the mirror say hi. I mean, I've, I've got this thing going, if you haven't noticed. You may have, you might not have. Oh, Get down there. Put the marker down. Haven't uh, shaved this ugly mug. The, uh, it's more of a it's a planting thing. It's kind of like no shave November, no shave planting, and that tells you how long it's been dragging on. And of course, I grow facial hair really, really slow, very slow uh, to be exact. Brad shaves, and you know he's probably got. Uh, He's got a five o'clock shadow by noon. He's got a five o'clock shadow by next week at best. So he's giving you guys a view. Let me set on the fun stuff. Now, I've got these two buckets of beans with me. Because the two end row units uh, don't have as big a box as the rest. So I need to carry the extra beans with me. Now the other uh, the other eight units have bigger boxes because we bought an eight row planter. From the neighbor, the dairy farm, who we also got the duels from. He's great for selling us stuff that he doesn't think is worth anything. And I think it's a deal of a deal. Well, he was planting corn with it, and he gave up planting corn because he's planting way more than eight rows now. He's gotten bigger. He's farming 800 acres. And in fact, this year, he only planted like 10, 15 acres of corn just for silage for his cows. He was groping to me about he could buy corn cheaper than grow it. Yeah, whatever. I like corn, so I'm going to figure out a way to make it work. Now back to the planter. So he's got, yeah, they have like bushel boxes. The rest of them, the other two are half. Uh, and the original bean planters that started out with eight rows only had the small boxes. Six acres. 
burgers or so before I got a refill. Okay, coming to the end. Uh, almost there. Marker across the road should be close enough. Lift. Lift the marker. Or, uh, make the turn. Can I get to the brake? Oh boy, the sprinkles have picked up. Lovely. Hopefully Dad's finds something to green shop the cows. It's another thing, we emptied the silo at the beginning of the week. are still set for where we are only planting eight rows being up to ten right now we just left them short and I know to stay just to the one side with the tire now dad's bad about doing this he'll put the tire right down and we'll have a giant gap out there well I think you guys have seen enough uh, to make you bored and um, hopefully this goes well because I'm getting more sprinkles yeehaw